What's up my viewer bears and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play around with the resolution in your Oculus Quest 2. This may be either to increase the resolution or decrease the resolution. I'll talk about why you might want to decrease it later. But with that being said, make sure you hit that like button if this video helps you out and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me. And with that, let's hop straight into today's video. As I said in the intro, I will be teaching you how to decrease and increase the resolution. Of course, you might want to increase the resolution to get that crisper quality. However, be aware this may decrease battery life as well as decrease performance. So be wary with how you use this. Also, if you're ever nervous about increasing or decreasing the resolution, you can always fix this or reset it by just restarting the headset. Hold down the power button, click restart or click power off and then power it back on. And then all of your changes will be set back to the original. With that out of the way, let's get into the first step. For starters, you're going to want to open up a web browser of choice. If you're watching this on your PC, you can just click the link down in the description, which will open up the SideQuest download. From here, you want to download SideQuest. You can either get the Mac version, the Windows version, or the Linux OS version. Get the one that is compatible with your PC and begin the installation. The installation will be different depending on what machine you're on, so just do it as you would with any other file. In my case, I am using Windows, so I will go through the Windows installation. Once you've installed SideQuest, you want to run it. Once you have SideQuest open, you should see a red dot up in the left hand corner. The next step is turning on developer mode. Turning on developer mode is fairly simple. I have a video down in the description or you can click on the eye up in the top right that goes through most of the steps. It has gotten more annoying over the last year, but just kind of play around with it and put in all the details that you can in order to activate developer mode. Once you've done that though, you want to go into your phone, click on the settings up in the top left, navigate into settings, and then turn on developer mode from in your phone app. And once you have completed that, you are now able to plug your headset into your PC. With your headset plugged into your PC and developer mode on, you should be able to allow access for your PC to connect to your headset. And then from there, you'll get a second prompt that'll ask you to allow ADB debugging. Click allow, and then you should have that red dot turn green inside of SideQuest. Once you see that green dot, look for the wrench in the top right of SideQuest and click on it. This will open up the device settings page where you can then scroll down near to the bottom where you'll see resolution. It is here where you can choose a bunch of different resolutions you want your headset to be set at. Really the key ones you should be looking at are the highest resolution and the lowest resolution. Like I said earlier, lowering the resolution would be really nice as it would increase battery life and increase performance as well as making your headset run smoother. However, it will make your headset look like doo-doo. So for the main focus of this video and the title, I'll be also teaching you how to increase the resolution which would be that ladder option if you click on the biggest number out there you'll have the highest resolution that your headset can possibly run at be aware this may cause choppiness or decrease lifetime on your headset as it's going to be using more of the battery in order to increase the screen resolution but on this page it's as simple as just clicking the resolution you want and then it will automatically be applied to your headset then from here, once you've done that and you get the OK down at the bottom, you can then disconnect your headset. Once your headset's disconnected, you should have the new and improved resolution. And that is going to wrap up today's video. Hopefully this video helped you out at least a little bit and you learned something new about your Quest 2. Thank you to all of my members who are actively supporting the channel. Your support helps out tremendously and allows me to make the videos I can make. So thank you. Thank you so much for your support. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. Bye.